A hand shakes. It shakes an immeasurable pain. It is the only part of his body that can express what and how he feels. Tears flow freely and sometimes he closes his eyes to stop the pain. But it's inescapable. So the hand continues shielding him as the health worker dresses his wounds. The 16-year-old fell into a fire unknowingly. No one was around to get him out of the cooking area. By the time the seizure's symptomatic of nodding syndrome stopped, the damage had been done. Now, he lies in one of the designated centers for treating nodding syndrome in Padea, Atanga Health Center 3. He needs to be referred to a major hospital, but there is no vehicle at the moment to help. He's the only one at the ward with nodding syndrome. Others just come to pick their drugs, meant to stop episodes of seizure. Hello. A few miles away from the district in Gulu lies an exemplary treatment center, more of a rehabilitation center, that treats the few patients here. An NGO called Hope for Humans ran the center. A neurologist, Dr. Susan Gazda, co-founded it and hopes to expand to the other affected districts with the help of donations. At another designated health center, Palabek Kal in Lamu district, we find no patient. They come monthly, after every one month. When they come, we carry out assessment, like the nutritional assessment, taking them work, height, and weight. Those found malnourished are always admitted here for at least two weeks, till they feel in good health to return home. They are just being given this plant plenary. When there is famine, when people have not yet harvested, their weight go down and they fall frequently. She says those younger than seven mostly come with their parents at the health center. The older ones go eat alone. The danger of Ava is in such rivers. The seizure could see them drown. We give them sodium valparate according to the kilogram body weight. We also give them the warming tablets like albendazo. We give them vitamin A to protect their eye because the majority have sight defect. We also give them B-complex. Sometimes we also give them folic acid because of fear of anemia. Palabekal Health Center handles about 100 patients from four parishes every month. The district alone has 351 registered patients. The Minister for Health says about 3,000 people afflicted have been treated, some with admissions at the treatment centers. The total number of cases that required admission from the seven treatment centers was 321 and throughout this period 11 deaths were registered. Overall since nodding syndrome was reported over 200 people mostly children have died. At night in Kitigum we check on how the patients get by at Kitigum government hospital. We find a three months old baby whom the doctor in charge tells us was a result of rape. Her mother, now 16, is a nodding syndrome patient at the hospital. Her stepfather took advantage of her. The mother of the 16-year-old is at hand to help, but she too is handcuffed. You see the baby doesn't have even clothing, breast mm. meal is... The mother has been uh, traumatized now, she developed TB, we have started on anti-TB. But she is faring well. When Before starting that, the whole body was swollen. She deals with all this alongside nodding syndrome. Dr. Geoffrey Akena, a general physician at the hospital, who is also the chairman of the task force on nodding syndrome in the district, says they've learned to categorize the patients. He is having epilepsy, okay. but we are suspecting co-infection with nodding. There are about three categories, epilepsy, nodding syndrome, then nodding syndrome plus. Plus means both. Eh? both the nodding syndrome plus the epilepsy. He says management of all three is similar. He takes us to meet a 16-year-old who has nodding plus. He turns out to be the boy we met at Atanga Treatment Center a day earlier. I think they don't have functioning theater, so they brought them here. So we are going to clean this all. It's called something called this laughing. The 16-year-old was diagnosed with a syndrome a year ago. He quit school when he was in senior two. Not far from him lies a 15-year-old girl, also with buns. Her parents did not know she had any problem until they found her struck down in a fire. She will be handled as an epileptic until signs of nodding manifest 
including the one from which the name was got, the nodding of the head. Another one lies here too with buns. These seem to be keeping the treatment centers a lot busier. What all centers battle with are the symptoms of the syndrome. We tackle malnutrition, we tackle conversion, we tackle fever, we tackle um, maybe cough, something like that. Most parents have been deemed negligent. Because these children are getting burned, these children are getting raped, these children are getting molested. To try to decongest Kitigum Referral Hospital, other sub-treatment centers have been created. These are backed up by outreaches. We have received a communication from the Permanent Secretary Minister of Health, which showed that in the district of Kitigum there is some bit of poor management of nodding syndrome cases, which we are trying to address. Dr. Akena, however, says more health professionals are still needed. For now, still not all who need help are reached. 22-year-old Adonga and 18-year-old Marvin Opoka in Padea have never set eyes on any symptomatic medication. Florence Nalimba, NTV Northern Uganda.